Finally, in the chat room, we are asking, did you see this? There's a company called uh, Despair.com. And as a, as a lark, I guess, they claim they sent the frowny face. You know, the, it's, it's colon dash left parenthesis, the frowny face. They sent it to the Patent Trademark Office. Guess what? They got a patent, they got a trademark, patent. trademark on it. They got trademarked. The PTO said, yeah, sure, you got it, you own it. And so now as a joke, as a joke, I want to emphasize this, as a joke, Despair says, uh, we own it, we copyrighted it, we're going to sue the 7 million people who are using the frowny face, and you're going to have to pay us a royalty. The, of course it was a joke. It was a joke. You know, as people you're running, believed you're, it. You know, yeah, well, people believed it. And you know what? People will probably write us emails horrified that people would actually try to copyright that's, emoticon. That's why I'm saying right now, I'm underlining this. This it was just a joke on the part of despair.com. They exacerbated things by offering to sell it. For 900 you can, you can for zero dollars, you can license the frowny face, so you'll be able to legally use it, and on and on and on. Our question for you in the chat room today, will you violate, will you violate the trademark and use the frowny face? Flaunt the law and use the frowny face. Or are you going to stick by that trademark? Go to thescreensavers.com. Vote. Let us know what you think about this. Can one. I make this frowny face? Yes, you can. That's, that's legal. You just can't I make can't it do with, it with an emoticon and email. All right.